Well, re-landscaping property is really what Linton's Enchanted Gardens does really well, and Mark Linton is here to help us along the way here today. We've got a beautiful home in Goshen, Indiana, and re-landscaping has been a high priority for this homeowner and homeowner's daughter, and even a generation before that, I would imagine, huh? Absolutely, and yes, uh, this home, when it was uh, built new, it was landscaped at that time, but uh, they got uh, their use out of it, and um, it was about 25 years old, and it was getting a little tired, and uh, so that's when we got the call, and um, actually worked on uh, designs and incorporated uh, their wishes into it, and um, this is what you got. Yeah, very nice, Mark. And re-landscaping, adding color, now that adds a whole new dimension, doesn't it? It does, and that was something that they were missing here. And so we've got a wide assortment of perennials and flowering trees, as well as shrubs. We've got spring blooming, we've got summer blooming, we've got fall color, and equally important, winter interest. All right, well, let's get a peek at what you're talking about up close and personal here. Why don't you start? Craig, we've got a couple of uh, different uh, light conditions here. Where we're standing, of course, uh, we're very shaded uh, here. And um, this is one of our hemlocks. It's a nice uh, evergreen that uh, does well in the shade. It accents the corner. We've extended uh, this bed around uh, here to give it plenty of room to grow. And then a nice layered look uh, with uh, perennial geraniums called hardy geraniums. And those earlier in the season were blooming with purple flowers. Now the hemlock, I love it. I absolutely love it. Was that the homeowner's choice or did you suggest it? That would be one of my uh, suggestions. Okay. And it also gives us uh, some winter interest as, as well. Very good. Mm -hmm. Here. And these are a couple of uh, rows of Sharon, and mm -hmm. um, these were actually in the original landscape, and we felt that uh, they were in the perfect uh, spot, and uh, so we did keep uh, those here. We just enlarged the bed uh, to make it easier for the homeowner to mow. Mm -hmm. Well, the practicality of the mowing is one thing, the beauty is quite another. And Mark, uh, even the grade has changed here, I can tell. It has, and uh, what has happened over all these years is behind us, Craig, uh, the soil had settled. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to make sure that uh, we had proper drainage uh, here. So we brought in some soil, raised it up uh, to the level it should be, so everything is now sloping away from uh, the house. And that would be a natural um, happening, wouldn't it, over 20, 25 years? It, it, it does, does happen, especially yeah. with homes that have basements that get backfilled in there. Gotcha. That. What's going on here? Well, we've got a beautiful uh, red Japanese uh, lace leaf maple here accenting uh, the front entrance. I love uh, these red burgundy colored leaves um, yeah. with the gray cedar oh, yeah, and uh, the that. red brick uh, behind us. Mm -hmm. You're going to see some boulders incorporated in here. We've got boulders along with uh, these coral bells, uh, which attract hummingbirds and butterflies uh, when they're in bloom. Uh -huh. Huh. And there's a story behind these boulders, and we're going to get to that when we talk with John, uh, one of the original homeowners here. Now, Craig, uh, what we did was evaluate uh, the existing plantings and that. And these boxwoods actually were here, and we felt that they could get plenty of life out of them, and so uh, we elected to keep those. Uh, we just added uh, the weed barrier and the stone ground cover to make it low maintenance. Well, they caught my eye right away. They, they've held up well, haven't they? They have. Yeah. And then of course, uh, we like always a, a layered type of look. And so we've got the taller plants in the back, uh, the shorter plants here up front in uh, center. Again, more boulders incorporated in here. We've got these gold thread cypress, uh, which add a splash of gold. And they contrast nicely with the Russian sage. Uh -huh. And then um, you see that uh, we've got some of our knockout roses here, uh, which pretty much uh, bloom nonstop all spring, summer, and fall. How easy was it to work with the homeowners, John and Lillian, over this project? <laughs> you know what, not only were they involved, but uh, their daughter uh, was involved as well. And um, they actually had a uh, list of uh, wishes, and of course uh, we wanted to honor all of those, and that's how we came up uh, with this, and we got everyone's input that way. All right, well John and Lillian are the homeowners, and Mark, you know, it's really cool when we come out and talk about landscape design, and then there's a little history behind it. And this really is a history lesson today, isn't it? It goes back quite a few years. Way back, like this is the third generation on this property and John's gonna share a little bit about that history. You mind if we chat with him? Let's bring him in. Alrighty. John and Lillian Steiner are the homeowners here and I must say the original homeowners, uh, John's daughter and now son-in-law, live in the home currently but John beautiful property and uh, I bet you enjoy coming back here don't uh, you thank you we really do it's it's nice to get out and enjoy nature and enjoy the, the woods sure. and 
the wildlife and things like that. Now, I was talking to Mark just a little bit ago about the history of this property. It goes back uh, a couple generations, doesn't it? Yes, it, my parents owned this property from the mid-50s, and then my father was going to build on this property. And I told him, I said, well, if you never get the opportunity to build, let me know and I'll be glad to buy it from you. And uh, that, in fact, happened. And uh, so in the mid-80s, we built a home 30 years ago here. Now, in Goshen, there are orchards, and you had one right here on the property. Yes. Uh, from the, where the house sits, clear to the road, were filled with apple trees. And I can remember as a teenager picking apples in the fall. Great memories here. Yes. Now, something else unique about this property, folks, is the fact that the boulders that we see here, John, didn't come from some distant place. They came right here from your property. Exactly. As, as a teenager, I wandered in the woods in the back, and I spotted these large boulders. And uh, when we built, I decided, why not use those? And so that's what we did when we first landscaped here. And Mark says it's highly unusual to find these boulders, and you even told us they were mostly above ground. Yes, that's correct. They were uh, easy to see and spot. And there's still a few more back there. Exactly, yes. <laughs> oh, very good, John. I'm going to bring Mark in here, sure. if you don't mind. And Mark, what a joy it is to visit with John, and uh, you've done a great job here on this property. Oh, thank you, Craig. And I uh, want to thank uh, John for uh, the opportunity for us to serve him and his family, and also for allowing us to feature this beautiful property with all the viewers out there. Yes, indeed. Thank you. John, uh, what about one or two things that y you like about what Mark has done here on the property? I think foremost is uh, low maintenance. Uh, before, we didn't have that, and uh, I'd be worn out at the end of the summer <laughs> taking care of it. And uh, I know my son-in-law and daughter also feel the same thing. And, and of course, the color selection of the plants uh, were really great. And did Lillian have a voice, too, as to what went on here? Yes, she uh, voiced her opinion quite strongly <laughs> about what, what she likes or dislikes. So, yes, it worked out fine. She's okay with what happened here, huh? Yes, she likes oh, it. She boy. enjoys it. Good answer, John. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, thank you again. Well, you're most welcome. A pleasure meeting you, sir. And, Mark, again, great job. Thanks, Greg. Much more coming up here on the program. Don't go away. We'll be right back.